Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of the Morning Edge, episode 140, Monday Night Football. Uh, Dead Press Picks joined by Slap Rules. We have two winners for you all tonight. A couple quarterback plays that we're looking at that we think could cash in the first half. We want to try to make them last all game for you guys to have some fun, but they could cash in the first half. Just a warning beforehand. John, you can kick us off here. What are you looking at with uh, with your prop? I'm thinking uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, 225-plus passing yards. That's not that crazy. Like, I'm not really a big Jimmy G guy, but I kind of feel bad for him. And I kind like, at this point, and I kind of, like, am, I'm in his corner a little bit now because he's an underdog. Okay. Like, for one, he they go to the Super Bowl, then they get Trey Lance, and then they try and kick him to the curb. They try to trade him. Doesn't work. Trey Lance gets hurt. Now it's now who comes running to Jimmy Jimmy G. You know what I mean? Like here they are. Oh, well, you were our guy. You know, like whatever. You know all that stuff. So now I kind of feel like now I'm interested. You know what I mean? Like now I'm yeah. like, all right, Jimmy There's G. A story. There's a story here. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the problem. He's such. A, he's like a good looking guy. He's a quarterback. You know what I mean? Like it's like how do you like how do you like feel bad for him? You know what I'm saying? But then now now you can because of what happened. They didn't even give this guy a, a, a playbook. You know, like all summer. So I mean, he he's like coming in. Yeah, what's up? He didn't have a playbook, right? Like, no, he's yeah. like coming in like new. So yeah. he threw for over two hundred yards last game, two eleven against the Broncos. That was probably the worst offensive game you'll ever watch in your life. But that was so bad. That was bad. But now you get the Rams again. He threw for two hundred eleven yards in like the worst game you ever seen in your life. So he's like, what, what is that like? Little Matthew, what's that? Fourteen more yards he gets here. Uh, fourteen, correct. Yes, yeah, so we're well, looking plus, even money. Two twenty-five against one of the best run defenses in the NFL, the Rams. So you're not running on them. You're gonna have to throw. Maybe you know we do get those, you know, yak plays from Debo Samuel and Kittle, stuff like that. So I don't know. At the end of the day, this is one that I'm not too excited about, but at the same time, I'm not scared of either. Like I'll be going for the rest of the day, being like, you know what, I got a good one. Like this is yeah. nice. Like it's nothing crazy. It's even money, but at the same time, you know, I'm not scared of it. I think he does this. I think he does too. I, yeah. I, I think we got two good plays here. He went 300 I, plus last time against the Rams. They're a little ladder. Start laddering them up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Why not? Yeah, he owns the Rams. He's 6-0 and against them in the regular season. Well, I'm going to have Matthew Stafford here over 248.5. Very similar reason. The 49ers had the best rushing defense in the NFL until last night. Kansas City actually took them over because the Bucks. I don't know what they rushed for as a team. I know Fournette had negative three yards, um, so it's kind of skewed there. But San Francisco is a top run defense in the NFL, no matter how you look at it. The Rams don't love to run the ball anyway. Um you know, they're, they're a pass-first offense for sure, but I think they're going to have to throw the ball 40 to 45 times here. I also see a game script where they're playing from behind, uh, which really makes me like this. So I think Stafford's going to be throwing the ball a ton here as the game goes on, uh, especially late. So give me Matthew Stafford here over the 248.5, and, um, and I think it's a pretty easy winner here. And I, li- I like the Jimmy G angle as well. Mix them together, you throw them in. Like I said, throw them in the same game parlays, take them straight, throw a little parlay with them, get everything in because we don't have NFL football until Thursday. John reminded me we have a, uh, a game. Who plays on one set? I think it's SMU and UCF. Okay. It's going to be a fun game too. Yeah. So I mean, if we just make it through Tuesday, we're all set. Like we're back. Good offenses, right? Mm-hmm. So like we can pretend it's like the national title game if we want. Yeah, we could. We I mean, could if we want to. Just yeah. To- if we won it, game, randomly all the no, no one can tell us it isn't. You know what I mean? Like yep. if, if we say it is, UCF are a fake parade before, right? Remember they thought they won the national championship? Yeah, before? I think uh, but, they were national champs according yeah. to Blake Bortles. That's what I mean. So like, you, any, you can – Undefeated national champs. Right. You can do anything you put your, your mind Fun to. Fun fact, I actually went to UCF for a little wow. while. Wow. That was a good time. Shout yeah, out UCF. Of- you can't yeah. finish. You're, <laughs> yep. you're, you're, you're part of the national championship program, too. You know? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. You're part of that team. Yeah. Technically, you're an alumni. So uh, that's it, guys. That's gonna be that's gonna be the picks for us. We got two two plays today, um, and we'll see you guys back here. What are we gonna have to bet on tomorrow? Baseball, I guess. Baseball. Yeah. I'll so bet baseball. At the end, it's not that bad. 
No. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's yeah. I don't know, you get nostalgic. Oh, yeah, I remember back in July when I was yeah. hammered by the pool watching That's strike right. out bets. You know, what I, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's fun. Like, you miss it. You're like, oh, yeah. man. And it, meanwhile, while you're in July, you're like, man, this sucks. Yeah, like nothing's worse than football. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. We'll, see, we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys Tuesday.